today what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to properly fill a mid-engine vehicle's radiator system where you would initially have to do venting and uh, bleeding in the system. Hey, Kurt Curtis coming at you from the Full Octane Garage, and today what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to properly fill a mid-engine vehicle's radiator system where you would initially have to do venting and uh, bleeding in the system. So this is a mid-engine car. Uh, the radiator is actually filled from a fill jug in the back of the car. It's very similar to a Porsche Boxster, uh, the Porsche the GT4s, and uh, even the rear engine 911s most likely, but this is an Acura NSX we're doing today. And what we're going to do is we have this product called an airlift. And what airlift does, you actually have a device that you plug into the radiator uh, fill jug, tighten it down, and it seals. And then it has this uh, Venturi system uh, that's actually in the other bucket. Uh, the Venturi system, when you plug an air compressor hose on it, it draws a vacuum down on the radiator system. And we're going to see a, a vacuum of somewhere around 25 uh, pounds of vacuum on, on the uh, system. And then you'll close it off, and we'll go through the whole thing while we're doing it. Um, submerge your hose in the bucket of antifreeze. Put about four gallons of antifreeze in the bucket from a, a clear fill on this part. It takes almost four, four gallons. And then when you open the valve up, it's going to suck the antifreeze into the system. And you want the bucket higher than your fill point so that it gravity feeds as the vacuum goes in. It'll go a lot faster. So let's get right to setting this up. Okay, now we're going to apply this to the radiator catch cannon, and you will notice that there are different sizes that can slip on here depending on the size of your radiator input, and then they have this generic one that kind of is you know, concave and fits anything. But I know this one's going to be right, so what we're going to do is put it in here as deep as it will go, and then you're going to tighten down the brass ring until it's snug into the fitting of the input. because you want it to be a, a, draw a good vacuum. The second piece to this is, I do have a vent hose, and I want to make sure this vent hose doesn't suck any air just in case it doesn't drop down in there all the way. So what I've done is I've taken a small pair of ice grips and I've put a, a couple of rubber hose clips on here just so it's soft so that I don't pinch the hose with a hard piece of metal. So I'm going to go around that metal, around this hose. I'm going to crimp it so that no air can be brought into this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put this piece on. This is the Venturi that draws a vacuum. We have the catch can here, and then we're going to apply air pressure to this. And you'll see the vacuum starting to draw on this. And you can feel air coming out of the gear, so it's drawing a vacuum down on the car. Now, if that needle doesn't move, it means you don't have a tight system. It means you don't have a tight system. And it is drawing some moisture out of the system, so it is good to have a catch can. And you want to draw it down as far as it will go. Once the stops, needle stops moving, you're done. And it's still going a little bit. Quick check also, a visual check to see if you're getting the vacuum is it's the vacuum is pulling all the hoses collapsing all the hoses you can see it's all very flat now that's pretty cool there's the other one down at the bottom let's go fill some up in the bucket oh shit <laughs> so you can just hold it down <laughs> oh, I see some air <laughs> I thought it was a <laughs> oh yeah I didn't tell you it was a two man job <laughs> Oh, there he is. 
we're still trying to snake all the air out of the tube, you know. I'll try it a little faster. There it goes. Okay. This is not the cleanest job. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to turn both of these on. Let me see where this thing is. Okay, I've got it. You can let go. Okay, we're going to let this thing launch. You're going to see all of this fluid go into the car. You still recording? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, because yeah, it's, it's got a vacuum right now. Yep. So it's just launching into the car right now. You can hear it flowing. Oh, look how quickly the level's going down. Oh, yeah. Now, if we go to the front, will it eventually start filling the... Oh, yeah, yeah. those, those hoses thing. are probably already... genius system. So, when it stops coming out, <laughs> we, you valved it off. I valved it off. I'm going to open up the overflow in case there is some more overflowing in here. We may be full. I really can't see anything. Let's see if we... Oh yeah, it's right to the top. Yeah. So the bad news is I'm going to have to suck some of that out because the level's too high. But that's okay. Now you can I see where the car really performs. <laughs> I have the <laughs> ultimate sucker. <laughs> Alright, so there's a line on the tank that shows the max level and it's, right now it's all the way to the top. It is right to the top. Can you see through the tank right now? Not really. I see the, anything. You know, I'm going to have to... So this is my one-man brake bleeder, but it, it's also a uh, liquid extractor. So uh, Is there another video for this? There is another on? video on this we'll called we'll One-Man Brake Bleeding System. Don't we'll forget to watch it. We'll put a link down at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure how far it is with this hose from the top, which is right to the max, and I'm going to drop it in here, and I'm going to run it... <laughs> Okay, I can see the level. It is. I can look in here and see the tank uh, with my light here is clearly uh, at the proper level. So uh, my container was the right size. Barely. 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 Story locks are good. Now we're going to make sure we get rid of all the excess parts that are left in the engine bay. Close her up. We'll start her up and uh, let her come up to temperature. Okay, that concludes the filling of the radiator system utilizing the airlift system. There's a few systems that are identical to this. We'll have a couple of links where you can purchase these on Amazon. And don't forget to like and subscribe, come back often. And we're hoping this radiator is going to last us another 140,000 miles. Until we get our C8. Until we get our C8. This is Corvette starter car. <laughs>